Oh, is it playing? I gotta yep. get into character. <laughs> what do you mean you're already in character? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, Prepper Madness here. That little shot you just seen was a uh, was a shot of uh, what's going to be what's going to be my little uh, tool shed and outdoor smithy. We're going to uh, build a build a lean to off the back here for my uh, for my fuel bin. Whether it's I'm going to divide it into two pieces, one side for coal, one side for charcoal. All right, so uh, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to I got this uh, I got a whole bunch of these old power pole tops here, old cedar power pole tops. So I'm going to rough them up a little bit with the ads and try to give them kind of a pioneery, pioneer kind of look and and uh, bury them a, a foot or two in the ground. Very hard soil here, lots of gravel, so not worried about them rotting or anything like that. Okay, here I go. So I'm just going to work down one edge. How do you want to put the camera right where my axe is going and zoom in a bit? I'm going to work right down the edge here. You'll notice I'm not using the full width of my adze blade. So I'm just going to go on half, half of one side at a time here. Now I'll move back up and I'll go on the other half. like this. Let the ads do all the work. Just let her drop. <coughs> By doing it like this, half a side at a time, it's half the work, or half the effort I should say. So. I'll just get down to the other end here and then spin myself around. I'll talk to you in just a few minutes. All right, I'm continuing on on the way back here, flattening it out and smoothing it off a little bit. I don't really need to make this thing perfectly square. It's not my intent. I just want to make it look like what it is. It's a handcrafted handcrafted piece of wood and this is something I enjoy doing I love working with old cutting tools um, I'm not gonna come on here and say I'm not gonna come on here I'll just let the wife get the camera in place <laughs> I'm not gonna come on here and say oh this is a must-have skill for preppers is a must-have skill for homesteaders this is just something I enjoy doing and uh, and uh, probably could be found to be quite uh, useful uh, if uh, there was ever a power grid down situation um, whether that's going to happen or not well that remains to be seen <coughs> in the meantime I'm not holding my breath well I am right now because <laughs> Uh, anyhow, I'm going to get back to doing this. Uh, the wife's going to show you what the what the face of the log looks like. Um, although although it's not a perfect finish, uh, it's fairly close. Um, I'm right now. I'm just doing the I'm just doing the rough cut in, and uh, after I'm done that, I'll be uh, I'll be using my gouge my gouge ads. And running a small channel, uh, some small channels in it, you know, and giving it that pioneer look, just like I said before. Okay, folks, I'll talk to you in just a bit. I'll get this done. Okay. Okay. All right, and I'm going to leave the knots uh, kind of protruding a little bit and give it that nice rustic look the knots poking out that and they're damn hard on the on the blade of the old lads here let's see if I can square this a little better there yeah I really like this 
this is one of my favorite tools. Uh, even though I suffered a, a, a minor spinal injury a few years ago, as some of you know from my older videos that I that I deleted because uh, I just wanted to start fresh. This is one of those things that has been helping my back regain a little tiny bit of its former strength. So, no matter what your situation, you know, do what you can. Don't try to do what you can't. All right. I'll just keep moving. Okay, I'm back on to uh, I'm back onto the other side now. Uh, I got uh, I got my first side fairly flat, and uh, most of the most of the ads uh, blade marks out of it. Somewhat, nothing's perfect. Um, all right, so I'm going to get busy here chopping again. And the wife's on the camera, she's just going to move it around a little. Okay, so as I'm, ch as I'm, uh, as I'm striking the surface of the wood, you'll notice that, again, I'm, I'm using just half of my, I'll show you here, I'm just using half of my blade when I strike it. Now, there's also a little safety reason in here that I discovered. It's because if you skip, if, if it hits or skips and if it hits and skips like this, or or hits a knot and skips, it'll turn like that, and you won't catch the blade of the ads in the shin, which uh, trust me uh, is not pleasant. So we'll just carry on here. It's always nice to uh, work. It's always nice to work off of a. Uh, uh, a level surface uh, at the one end. You'll notice. You'll notice how that block is nice and flat. So that keeps the uh, it keeps my it keeps my edges as I'm working fairly square with each other. Again, this is not a mill. This is just doing it doing it right out by hand. Real old school. Uh, tomorrow, I, when I go to do my second post, because it is getting later in the day. This isn't the only thing I've done all day. Um, I'm going to uh, get out my crosscut saw, and I'm going to show you. Uh, you can cut, cut your relief cuts in here. Although to me it seems to take a little bit longer. You can cut in your relief cuts with any kind of handsaw or chainsaw, whatever you like, and then just knock it all out and smooth it all down. You're at. <coughs> ah, I'm just gonna keep going. I'll work my way around this knot a little bit, so I keep it, so I keep it uh, kind of sticking out a little. And when I go to play with the uh, with the bean or with the post here, I'll uh, I'll see what I can do to kind of set it out make it stick out and uh, look kind of rustic. Okay guys, I'll talk to you again in just a little bit. Uh, just taking the burr off. I uh, hit a couple of nasty knots and I like to get on that right away. So I took a little tiny, a little dent in the middle of my middle of my blade. Oh, she's sharp now. Okay, another little trick while you're doing this, especially if uh, especially if it's really dry cedar. It likes to stick, eh? Blade likes to stick a bit, so I just take a bit of oil, any kind of oil, it don't matter. Just put a little dab, not a little too much, just a little dab there on the blade and rubber around a bit. This will last for you know, this will last for about 10-15 minutes or so, but, I mean, 10-15 minutes of not uh, having to having to put that extra effort into pulling it out, it's kind of nice. Right, well, I'm going to get...
get back at her here. I'm uh, halfway done my second side. It's been, what would you say, hun, 20 minutes? About 20 minutes or so, yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't take a whole, a whole lot of time to do something like this. Like I said, I'm a guy with a spinal injury, so I'm sure, I'm sure most of most of my viewers out there could do this if they wanted to. I'm not saying you have to have to learn this skill, but it sure is kind of fun doing stuff really old school, almost Stone Age, Iron Age kind of stuff. All right, I'm gonna get back at her here, and uh, we'll we'll speak again in just a bit. All right, we're back again here. You can see I've got side two flattened out. Um, and uh, what we have now is we've got two flat sides, obviously, and a narrow, a narrow, two narrow round sides right here. So what I've done is I went and made a pinch. I used my ads and I cut out a channel. As you can see, I don't know if you can from there. Do you want to move the camera if you have to? It's a V gouge right here like this, nice and sharp down, so that the edges, so the edges uh, catch, catch the round on here and hold it steady. Right out front here, I've uh, I've widened it out, made it a little uh, a little deeper of a mouth, so uh, so that it kind of fits down a little a little deeper because it's laying at an angle, right? Okay, you guys. Uh, okay, guys. I'm going to uh, get back at it here. I'm just going to throw this right into the V. Move that ahead just a little, <coughs> and you'll see what I'm talking about. Actually, almost like a vise. Just got to get this squared up with the log. There, no wiggles. It's all looking good. Now I can look down my edges and see that I'm actually not bad for square to each other. Not bad at all. So I'll just square this up with these two edges. Now off I go. All right, well, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And uh, I'll be doing some gouging tomorrow uh, down, down, these, down this edge right here, the edge in between the, the four flat surfaces. And uh, we'll see how that we'll see how that all turns out. Okay, guys, take care.